our big warm-up also impacting the high country. The warming temperatures loosening heavy snow from recent storms. Tuesday, we saw this mess on Berthoud Pass. Today, the pass actually closed for a little while again. Spencer Wilson covers the high country for us. Spencer, what's the situation right now? Karen, they were clearing two to three avalanches from earlier this morning. They said they were hoping to get it all done by 8 p.m. And as you can see, road still closed. We're watching drivers continue to come out here and then turn around with a sad look on their face. Crews said around two or three slides came down all on their own this morning because of the warm weather and a wet slab of snow underneath the snowpack. You'll remember a slide closed the road yesterday as well as crews worked to clear it up. We spoke with a few drivers who only other option was a multi hour trip through Kremlin or wait until later tonight. It's an inconvenience, but stuff happens. What are you going to do? Just live with it, I guess. As we keep getting these toasty temperatures, it's likely that we could see more days just like today with these issues with wet slabs coming down. Uh, there's also warnings, at least the city is not worried about them, but they're keeping an eye on areas near Highway 65 in Grand Mesa and 139 on Douglas Pass. They said they got more snow than they expected this year, even had a couple of avalanches on that area, which they are not used to seeing. So we're dealing with the ramifications of having more snow, which is good for our drought, but bad for this exact moment right here. Live near Berthoud Pass. Spencer Wilson covering Colorado first. Yeah, they're so quick on it, though. All right, Spencer, thank you so much. Covering Colorado first.